The Bloodhound Supersonic Car Project has hit yet more delays. It was supposed to make its record-breaking run last year, but now it could be 2019 before it makes its attempt on that historic 1,000 mile an hour speed record in the South African desert. We went along to the Bloodhound Project's headquarters in Avonmouth to find out more. The first thing you see when you get there is this. A thing of beauty for sure, but it's not Bloodhound, it's just a full-scale model. This is Bloodhound, its constituent parts scattered around the factory floor or stored in crates. It needs help. Well, Bloodhound always needs help. I mean, if you're undertaking a project on this sort of scale in Britain and trying to change people's uh, approaches and attitude, it always needs support and help. But we've done about 27 million so far, and we've got this car now to a stage where uh, it will run this summer. It's this big, big push now to get it finished and get it off to South Africa in 2018. We're looking for um, the last hundred or so parts. We're looking for manufacturers to come forward here and make the parts and make them to schedule. That's a crucial thing otherwise of course our fixed costs go completely out of kilter. Bloodhound will run this summer at Newquay Airport on rubber tires at just 200 miles per hour. The acid test will be on aluminium wheels next year on the Hackskeen Pan Desert in South Africa where the target is 800 miles per hour smashing the existing record held by Richard Noble's Thrust SSC and once again breaking the sound barrier. The 1000 mile per hour target will have to wait until 2019. When we've done the 800 mile an hour record then we're going to stop. We're going to stop, bring the car back to Britain and then we've got to look at all the data, decide what we're going to do in terms of modifications to the car because at 800 miles an hour of course we've got a supersonic airflow uh, so, and that gives us the real data for the 1000 miles an hour and then we've got to fit three of the NAMO rockets and get back again 2019. The Norwegian-built NAMO rockets will be tested later this year, yet one more piece of pioneering into the engineering unknown. This is engineering without a safety net. There isn't a, there isn't a look-alike. If you're in a Formula One team or motorsport, you can look across at what the other guys are doing and see how they've solved those problems. This one, we have problems to solve that we don't know exist yet. And it's almost like scratching away at a scab and you kind of find it unravels a bit and you find you need to do something completely different. Because actually, we are pushing the boundaries. And that's why as a project is so exciting to become involved, because the partners that work on this project, whether it's manufacturing or design, all those other aspects of the testing, it pushes companies into a space they haven't been before. And it really challenges their staff and their technologies and allows that great showcase of, of things when we start moving forward running in Newquay. This project isn't just about building the world's fastest car. It's also about inspiring kids to become engineers of the future. We need to finish this project to so they show those children that we are a country that can finish this kind of project. If you're a manufacturer, you need these people to become your workforce of the future. Let's face it, at the end of the day, a company is only as good as the people that are in it. And if we don't get those young children to become those engineers, then, then you haven't got a workforce. So you as a manufacturer need to get involved with a project like Bloodhound, not only so you can showcase your skills and your parts and your enterprise, but also to attract those young people into your company. They call it the bloodhound effect, and apparently it's real. The universities of Swansea in the west of England, who helped design the car, say it's boosted applications for their aerospace and engineering courses. And firms like Castle of Glasgow, which made the aluminium wheels for bloodhound, say it has helped them attract many more applications for their apprenticeship scheme. All the car needs to do now is run. For the manufacturer, I'm Nick Peters.